Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to revisit the EMP EDC Nimble. I just want to talk about this knife briefly, um, and I don't know. It's just interesting because it is now 2023, and... This knife came out, I believe, in 2021. Was it the spring of 21 that this knife came out? And it's really good. <laughs> it's a really good knife. And uh, I think they've they've recently dropped a new batch of these, uh, the latest batch. I think it's the last time they're doing frag, and I think the frag ones are sold out. So I apologize if you see this and want the frag. But um, I don't know. I just thought I was sitting here going, you know what? I should do like an update on the Nimble because it's been a while, and I've had this knife for so long. I mean, this is one of the – this and this – are two of the oldest tenured knives in my collection by far. I mean, I've had the Evo since December of 2020, I believe. Um, it just got, you know, a, a new outfit, but... And this I got in, in May, I suppose, of 21, which is a long time ago at this point. And... Here's what I want to talk about, and this is, I'm going to contend this, and I, I want to hear your guys' opinion, and this isn't meant to, uh, this isn't meant to, uh, say anything bad about any other models, right? That's not what I'm trying to do here, uh, I'm trying to just have a discussion, but I think the OG 3-inch Nimble is still the best model from EMP EDC. And that's what I want to hear you guys sound off in the comments. Which EMP EDC model is your favorite? What's your favorite? Nimble or is it the Thick Boy? Is it the the new one? Maybe you he hasn't delivered them yet, but maybe it looks the best to you, the relative. Um, he also has a new one called the Ronin. And then he has the Nimble, the three-inch Nimble. Then he has a Tanto version of the three-inch Nimble. Then he has a Nimble X, I believe it's called, the three-and-a-half-inch Nimble. Then he has a Nimble W, which is a Warney. Uh, it's about three-and-a-quarter inches. And am I missing any? I'm sorry if I'm missing any. Uh, there's a drop point and a sheep's foot in the, um, in the X. There's a lot of uh, versions and different EMP EDC knives. And I'm just curious what your favorite is. And, uh, yeah, so just sound off in the comments. I, up until the relative, I had pre-ordered every single one of his knives. I had owned every single one of them. This is the only one I have left. And it's not because those weren't good. It's not because of whatever. Anything against the company. Um, I I like EMP EDC. John's a cool dude. I, I chat with him occasionally. Awesome guy. Uh, met up at Blade, at Blade Show. Um, yeah. So it's not that. It's just, you know, obviously we have a lot of money into this hobby. And y you tend to pare down things, right? And I also tend to compare things and then sell things based on that so every time i got a new one i kind of compared it to this and i always ended up like wanting keep wanting to keep this you know if that makes sense not that i couldn't have multiple and i did for a long time um so you know it, it's it's more of a newer thing that i've pared it down but still uh i don't know what i'm getting at with that but uh, my point is, this is still my favorite. This is actually a version 2 or a production run 2 prototype that John actually, uh, he like tumbled these scales or something. He did something to these scales. They were the normal sort of, uh, I think what he calls the, uh, I, don't, I don't know what he calls it. I don't want to be wrong. It's just like the gray version. And it's usually like the shiny color. And I don't particularly like that shiny gray titanium. Um, 
And he sent me this when the second run was coming out to help, you know, promote it or whatever, because this is the reverse tux version he had coming out in that run. And he did something to these scales. And man, does it look good. It just looks amazing. It's so matted and tumbled. It just, with the frag and the black wash, yeah, just looks fantastic. And he has tried to get QSP to, um, to match this, but they just can't. So... That's why you haven't seen it, but it, it makes it a bit special. He also gave it to me, which is really, really nice of him and, and just awesome in general. Um, and so I've had this one for a long time. And yeah, it's still my favorite of the Nimbles. And it's mostly because of the size and the feel and the fidget factor as a lefty. So... This one fits my hand literally perfectly. It took a while. If you watch my early reviews, it took a while for me to get used to the hump. You have that gap between the handle and the choil. Took a while. But now it's almost like second nature being in hand like this. And this is all the blade I need. 3.1 inches of blade. I don't know what the cutting edge is, but all I need. It's a spear point, so it has a low enough tip for everything I like to do for EDC. You can see I've dressed it up a little bit. I threw the Mokutai clip on. Um, and then my buddy Joe put a mirrored edge on here. And this knife is so solid. Like, there's no play. There's no rock. Like, it's just... it's. And then it does that. Like, I don't know. There's just something about this particular knife that makes me happy. And left-handed, it doesn't have the strongest detent in the world. Like, it's good. You can see, pulls it in. If I flick it, fires. And that's one of the cool design features of this knife is that the way you design the flipper, it, it's kind of hard to fail. Like, yeah, you can do this, but you're kind of making it fail, right? Putting your finger in the way. If you just flick it, it fires. Um, the detent works with every deployment method. That's kind of the calling card of EMP EDC and the Nimble, right? So what made it, that's what put it on the map is the fidget factor the three in one, basically four in one fidget factor and all the detents work, right? Um, but the size just works for me. On the X, it was a little too big. Um, it was a little too big to do all these maneuvers and whatnot as easily where somebody, maybe you watching right now, have bigger hands. And for you, the X is like perfect, right? It just lines everything up. Your fingers right here for the flick. Or for the flip, and then right here for the flick, you know? And for me, that's how this one feels. Um, there's the front flip. I, I don't do the front flip a lot, but I do like it. Um, but anyway, the detent is strong enough. But because it's not super strong, I can actually put my finger right here and flick it left-handed, which is abnormal for a frame lock. So, again, a little bit of uh, witchcraft right there from EMP EDC. But after having uh, three or four different nimbles in the three inch, after having the Tanto, the W, the X, right? Some of them didn't do that. Some of them, the detent was a little crisper on the knife, which is good in general. But for me as a lefty made it where the lock bar pressure thing came into play and I couldn't flick in certain areas. I had to be down on the clip or whatever. Um, so this knife right here in particular, just, it works perfectly for me, right? Um, anyway, so I love the Nimble. I love the three inch Nimble. It's a great size. It's a great knife. You know, some people say it's ugly, right? Like it does all these things. It's fidget factor. It, it has all this stuff. It's got a good plate, all that stuff, but it's ugly. And, you know, I've never particularly thought it's ugly. I've never sat and been like, oh, that's the most beautiful knife design in the world. Because it was, I think it was mostly designed to be what it is, the fidget monster, right? But I think it looks awesome. Um, I love the frag. I, I think what he did was, instead of pure aesthetic beauty in the overall design, he added beauty in the accents or the pieces of the design if that makes sense the frag right um the 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 whole design you know is unique and awesome um the swedging 
the jimping, right? These little details, the lanyard hole, the clip, all that stuff adds up and makes it a sexy knife, in my opinion. So, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about the Nimble again. Felt like a cool thing to go over at the beginning of 23 here. And um, I realized they were they were available now. I don't know if they will be by the time this video posts, but... You know, so it's always good to kind of talk about something you can actually get for once, because I get a lot of shit for that. But um, this knife has a lot going for it. I mean, my gripes on it are basically, uh, I've gotten so used to it now, it doesn't matter. But the lock bar access could use a little more. And I think he's actually adjusted that in later runs. Um, that's really it. Everything else, this knife is like made for me. And that's what's so special about it. And I think that's what's special about this knife and why it's so popular. Like, he's sold so many of these knives, like thousands of these at this point, I think. Um, yeah, for sure, thousands. So a lot of you must agree, right? <laughs> it's just a really good knife, really good EDC. It's so easy to just chuck in your pocket and and have there to do all your tasks. And then when you need to, you know, get your fidget out, you got it. Um, just a cool, cool piece. So this is the reverse tux version of it. And, um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, what's your favorite EMP EDC? If you have one or if you have one upcoming, you know, what's that one? Have you had multiple like me? Have you had them all like me? Uh, well, I guess I did. Once the relative comes in, I'll, I'll be a slacker. Um, I might try to hop on that somehow. Hopefully he has some extra ones or something. Um, I just, the, the reason I didn't get in on that was mostly because I'm just not a clip point guy. Um, but then I got the label printer and now I don't need to have the low tip. So I don't know. Might be worth trying to snag one. Just saying. Um, I'll look into it, but. Yeah, cool knife, cool dude. Check out EMPEDC.com. We'll be linked down below. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.